The engine code readers are the most easiest to use OBD2 scanner you can find. They work straight out of the box, you don't need to have internet connection, you don't need to pair it with your smartphone, you don't have to pay any subscription, and you don't even have to charge them because they don't have batteries. They use power directly from your car once you connect them to OBD port. And even though they don't have functionality like professional scan tools, they still can be very useful. Even for a professional car shop, I recommend having Having one. When someone comes with check engine light, it's very easy to just hook up engine code reader and in few seconds you have the answer why the check engine light is on. They will also let you clear those codes, so once you clear that code, you can also turn off check engine light and then they have a bunch of extra functionality. Engine code readers will also let you look at status of your emission related components, this is called IM readiness, and before you go to state emission inspection, it is easy to check your car with one of these, simply pull up the readiness page and you can see if all your monitors are ready. If all monitors are good, then you have a good chance of actually passing that emission check. And then they also let you look at the live data. With live data you can diagnose a bunch of engine problems. For example, if you have vacuum leak, it will show on fuel trim live data. You can check a bunch of sensors like MAP sensor, MAP sensor, oxygen sensors, or even check catalytic converter simply by looking at the data on one of these engine code readers. So whenever you run into some engine troubles, you can use one of these to solve it. However, if you need to dive into another modules, for example, ABS, instrument cluster, TPMS module, do some service process, procedures like force DPF regen, unlocking your electronic brake calipers. The engine code reader will not be enough for that, you need a different tool. But if you do need scanner with that advanced functionality, I do have full buyer's guide PDF that explains different scanner type, scanner features, and it will guide you to choosing best scanner for your needs. It is completely free and you can download it in description. But now back to engine code readers. From engine code readers I already have here and tested, I could just give you a few options, but the smarter way to do this I think will be if I just show you one very best, which is my most favorite, and then the actual five best code readers I will put an article on my website, it will be linked in description as well. In that case, when there is some better engine code reader I can just update that blog article so you still have updated guide to buying engine code reader because I will be not able to change video obviously. So top five best engine code readers will be linked in description go to that article but let me also show you my top favorite one and this is this VDIAC tool VD30 Pro. First difference between this VDIAC tool and other code readers is when it comes to reading live data. VD30 is able to display four different live data graphs at once. For other code readers the maximum was three live data at once, but that were the more expensive code readers. And for cheaper ones, they often either cannot display live data graphs at all, they just display text values, or they display only one graph. So VD30 can display four values, and then it also can read permanent, pending, and stored fault codes separately. So you actually have three types of faults, which you can read with engine code reader, but some of code readers will just show you the DTC, for example the PO300, which is for misfire but they will not tell you if the code is pending so less serious or current so that is already confirmed fault and then you can also do battery test you can export live data or fault codes to your computer via usb port and it works on every vehicle but that goes for all of them if car has obd2 port all of these code readers will work it's not like with advanced scan tool that you have to consider if that advanced functionality will be possible with your car model no code reader they don't have the most functionality but everything works for all cars if they have obd2 system which are almost all cars that are younger than 30 years